What is going on guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make those clickable thumbnail videos. I don't know if you guys ever watch the end of somebody's YouTube video. They always have these external links with these moving picture thumbnails where you can click on and it takes you to the next video or just a different video in general. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create that. So the first thing that you're going to want is a background. So right now I have this ba this particular background. I got this off Google images i just went and got a random one over here i'll just show you guys I so i type in background make sure you're clicked on the images tab right here and you can go ahead and click any image that you do see now i clicked on this particular one then i went on view image and then i just right clicked save image as or i saved it to my desktop so that's the first step you need a background now what you're gonna do net what you're gonna do next is you're gonna need Premiere. You're gonna need Premiere Pro for this. So in this video I'm gonna be doing it with Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro is the program, the video editor that I use. I know that there are free softwares out there like DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I will try to leave a link to that in the description below. So you can do it with DaVinci Resolve but in this video I'm gonna use Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. And this version that I'm using is CS6. Now you can do this with older versions, but I am using CS6 because I have CS6. So I already made a thing there, but I'm going to just click another one. Click. Now you're going to name your thing whatever you want. I'm just going to call it clickable. All right, so now once you're in Premiere Pro, you're going to go ahead and take your background, the cool background that or whichever background that you did have or you did make you can go ahead and drag it in your box over there and once you have that there you're gonna drag it into the video here and just stretch it out a little bit so that you have some time to work with because otherwise if it ends there you're not gonna really have so much time with the thumbnails so now what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to find let's say we'll do it with four videos so you're gonna need to find four videos that you wanna make thumbnails of so for this example, let me go into my documents, Premiere Pro. Uh, this is where I store my videos. So I'm just gonna find three videos here. So I'll do change background video. I'll do the Microsoft. Uh, let's do the mouse change video. And we'll do an SSD versus the crucial video. So we'll do, I'll do three video thumbnails. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click this so that I can get a short view of this video and I'm going to take a small frame from that video and I'm going to enter it I'm going to click on the mark in because I just want a small amount of footage here and I'm going to take that so I'm going to go ahead and just go I'm going to go ahead and drag the video that I get from that now I'm going to need to make this big screen so that I get a better view here and I'm going to put it on top over here, video two, because I already have video one in there, and I want this to be on top so that I can scale it down very soon after I'm done, and then I'm, uh, I'll show you guys exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and drag just the just the uh, video. This is just the video I'm dragging down, no audio. Now once I have that, I'm going to double click here, and you're going to see I'm going to scale it down to the right to the correct size. Now my idea was to put it in one of these boxes there, but as you can see, when I try to scale it, it scales it in a very vertical type of type of angle. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, in general, though, if I did want to um, make it exactly, I would put a border around it. Now I'm not really going to get into adding a border and stuff like that. I'm trying to keep this video short. So let's go ahead and add another video. So I'm going to double click there because we want to select the proper frame. So let's go and collect. Let's go ahead and start in there. And then we're going to end end it there. It doesn't really matter as long as you have at least like five seconds of it because this is going towards the end of a video. So now that I have that, I'm going to scale this one. And I'm going to make it about the same size. It doesn't need to be exactly. I just want you to I just want you guys to understand how to basically do this. Now, if I was smart before, I would have made a uh, photo I would have edited this this background in Photoshop and I would have wrote like thanks for watching uh, Silent Walkers channel and I would have added some more words there and if I had some merchandise to sell I would make a link I would create a link right there and then ju just different stuff but again I'm trying to keep this video short for you guys so let's add one more clickable link now we're going to add this one 
change the background one. And let's find a little place to mark in, find a place to mark out. We'll grab the video, we'll put it on video four. So we have one, which is this, the, the, the first, sorry, let me scale that quickly. So we have one, two, three, four. Now this is the first background. I've selected the first one. This is the second one, which is right here. Third one is right there. And then the fourth one is right there. And I've scaled them down. I don't know if you, if you guys remember how I did that. I just make sure you're, you've selected this, the, the uh, correct one, and then you sort of scale it the size that you want. And another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some text. I know I didn't add it within the background, but I know you can do it later. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you quickly again. So I went to, uh, I right clicked over here in this little bin here in this little box. Then I, cl then I click on new item and I add a title. I'm going to name that title text. doesn't really matter. You can add, you can name it whatever you want. Now I'm going to add some text there. So let's do, um, let's type in. Thanks for watching. And then we'll add another text over here that says subscribe and we'll add check out my other videos and you can change the color of this here if you guys had a premiere um, i do have a video on premiere if you guys want to watch a quick tutorial on how to use it very basic very i love premiere Let's just put it that way so I just added some text and if I want to move this around, I'm going to go to the selection tool, which is that one right there, or you click on V, press V on the keyboard. And then I have some text there now in the background. Now I'm just going to click on X and take my text, drag it. Sorry, let's uh, scroll up a little bit. So we have more room there. We're going to drag it and we're going to drag it and drop it on all of these boxes. And automatically, as you guys can see, what I basically did was again, I took the text and I dragged it to video five because video five was empty. Now I'm gonna just take that and stretch it along the length of the whole video. And I'm gonna stretch them all to the same length so they're pretty much all the same length, more or less. And I'm not gonna do it exactly because this is just for an example. So as you guys can see, I pretty much created moving tiles. And let me go ahead and show you guys exactly. And there you go, as you guys can see, these are moving thumbnails but i'm not done yet because now i need to actually make them interactive i need to make them clickable now i would need to do this through youtube i cannot do this through premiere i need to do it through youtube so i'm going to go ahead and upload this video to youtube and i will be right back all right guys so once you finished uploading your video you're going to go ahead and edit it now you're going to go into annotations because now here's where you're going to add the clickable links so go ahead and go to the beginning of this video, add an annotation. Um, we're going to add an annotation and it's going to be spotlight. It's going to be, you're going to add a spotlight annotation and go ahead to do this. Go ahead and do this three times because we're going to add three annotations. So the first annotation we're going to put up there. You can just take this one and put it in the middle there. So now once you have your annotations, just scale them the right size of the, of the video. I'm going to go ahead and scale them correctly so that they're covering the whole video, as you can see. And the idea is, is that if they were to click on anywhere inside of this box, they would click on that, the thumbnail and they would go to that link that it presents. So let's say we want to do this one. So we're going to click on this one right here, this annotation right here. And if you want, you can go ahead and type in a text like click on this video or whatever. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on this link thing here, this little link button there, and you're going to select what where you want them to go to. Now, because I have um, a certain amount of subscribers, they give me some extra stuff here. But if you don't, then you would just click on video and then you would type in the video. You would select the video that you want this particular box if they click on it you would want it to go to so if you had a, a different youtube thing you would just copy and paste the youtube video in this link here and then you would click on this box so that it opens up in another window so that they, they don't have to leave the video in order to go to that next video 
And you pretty much do the same thing for the rest of the thumbnails. So for example, let's go to this one right here. You would click on link and type in the type in the or copy and paste the link that it would go to the next video if it was another video. And again, the same thing for this one too. You would select the link, the video, and then you would type in the link. Now, the last thing that you want to do is you want to take each annotation and you want to stretch it out to pretty much the whole video because that is how long this stretch is going to be for. So you go ahead and just click on it. You're going to get that little thing that pops up and just go ahead and stretch it out so that those boxes last for the whole video because you want them to be here throughout the, this whole video thing right there. So just to clarify, you want to make sure that the annotations that you added start at the end of the video and they stretch out towards the end, all the way to the end. Once you're done, you click apply changes and then you are done. So guys, that is going to be it. If you did find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and I will catch you guys on the flip side.